Hello everyone, this is Enea here. And in today's tutorial, I will teach you how to create this octagon flower string art figure in Affinity Vector Studio, formerly known as Affinity Designer. All right, so to get started, we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions. And we click on Create. We make sure that we are in the vector persona. And we make sure that snapping and snap to grid is enabled. And then we go to View, Guides, and we add horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we're going to set up the grid. So we go to View, Grid and Axis. We check on Show Grid to make it visible. And then we go to the Advanced tab. We'll leave the grid type as standard to have a square grid. We check on Uniform to have the X and the Y axis of the same value. And we are going to set the spacing to 25 pixels. What is important is that the grid and the guides overlap in the center of the composition. And then we can close the grid manager. And we are going to start drawing the figure. So first we take the rectangle tool. We set the field to none. We leave the stroke as black. And we set the stroke width to one point. And then we draw a rectangle and we give it 350 by 350 pixels in dimensions here in the transform panel. We take the move tool and we position it in a way so that it's right and bottom edges matches the guide in the center of the composition. And then we're going to keep only its top and right extremity, and we are going to get rid of all the rest. So in order to do that, we go first to Vector, Convert to Curves. We need to do this Convert to Curves operation in order to do operations on it with the Node tool. So we take the Node tool, we select the top left node, and we go here to Break Curve, and then we select the bottom right node and we break it too. And then we select the move tool. We select the bottom left part and we delete it. And now we are going to start connecting its equidistant points. So we take the pen tool and we position our first node here at the first grid division. And we connect it to the first grid division here. So this gives us our first line. And we press on Escape to unselect. And then we connect the second grid division, which gives us our second line. And we press on Escape to unselect. And then we continue the process. Make sure to always press on escape after each connected line. All right, so now we have connected all the equidistant points. We select everything and we press on Ctrl G to group them together. And then we press on Ctrl J to duplicate the group. And we flip it horizontally. 
and then we move the duplicated group to the right until it snaps to the center guide. And then we select both groups and we press on Ctrl G to group them together. So this is going to be the core element that we are going to use in order to create the, the octagon. And then we are going to scale it up. But in order to scale it up, we are first going to draw a diagonal guide. So we take the pen tool and we draw a line from top to bottom along the vertical axis. And then we're going to rotate it. So we take the move tool. We go here to enable transform origin to have the rotation center in the middle of the composition. And we are going to rotate this line by 22.5 degrees. So I created this diagram here with the angles of an octagon so that you can understand why we rotate it by 22.5 degrees. All right, so here in the transform panel, we are going to add 22.5 degrees to the rotation angle. And this rotate is the way we want it. And then we select this object. And from here, from the midpoint, on its top extremity, we scale it up while holding shift. Until it touches the guide. And then we select the guide and we are going to delete it because we are not going to need it anymore. And also we can hide the grid. And then we are going to duplicate and rotate this object. So we set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press on enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. We check on duplicate and we set the number of copies to seven as we need eight overall. And we set the rotation angle to 45 degrees and we click on OK. So this gives us our first octagon. And we are going to need a second one. So we select everything and we press on Ctrl G to group them together. And then we press on Ctrl J to duplicate. And we are going to rotate the duplicated octagon by 22.5. And this gives us our flower string art figure. And lastly, if we want to give color to it, we take the rectangle tool and we draw a square all over the composition. We position it underneath and we set its fill color to black. And then we select both groups of octagons and we press on Ctrl G to group them together. We select their stroke color and I will set it to a light blue. So this looks like the iris of the eye, I find. All right, so that was it for this tutorial. You learn how to create an octagon flower string art figure in Affinity Vector Studio. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.